So what do you have there, Scott? I have a fine can opener from uh, Pampered Chef. Now this doesn't work like your traditional piece of garbage can opener like this one. Now this one, when you turn it and you crank it around the can, it leaves like a serrated sharp edge around the can and then the top falls into the can and you can't get it out, right? So this one solves that problem because this one goes on top of the can and you turn it and you turn it and turn it till it's done. And then you go backwards and it releases. So you have to know all the tricks. You have to be have the sensibilities of, say, a fourth grader to learn how to use it. It's not that complicated. So you have to go forward, then backward, no, no. then use All the thing do, on the side. When you start, hang on, can you let me demonstrate? Well, you're, you're not demonstrating. You're, you're actually just holding it in the air. Here, let me get a can. All right. Witness the dog food. Okay? So we, we, we have the dog food. This one goes on top, it's magnet, and then you turn, and when you turn, it engages and it locks, so it's not coming off. You turn a couple of times, probably the same amount of times you would turn a normal can opener, right? Now, when it gets to that point where it stops, you just turn it and it releases. Look at that, it's complicated. It comes right off. Now, it's got this little clipper thing right there. You see it right there? You just grab the edge of the can like so. And look at that. Takes it right off. Clean. No sharp edges. You can't cut. And what do you do with the lid? Oh, when you're done, like when we use half the can of cat, uh, dog food, we simply just take it and put it right back on. And it sits right on there and it doesn't fall into the can. It doesn't have an issue where it's like in the can and you gotta like push in on whatever it is and like try and weasel it out or use a butter knife to try and like weasel it out or risk cutting your fingers on the sharp edge. Because look, as you can see, no sharp edges. No sharp edges. And how many times in your 35 years have you ever cut your finger on the edge of a can? None that I can remember, but it could have happened to somebody. Mm. So if anyone sees this... You and, know what else could have happened? Has, I could have gotten hit by a bus when I crossed the street. True. But, so those of you who've been following our little argument, if you think this is a more ingenious idea um, than... You know, Kara's... Okay, uh, let me just show you hand. one thing about this. This is the stupid can opener. No, let me just show you one thing about things this. Evolve. Things evolve. See Kara, that? Kara can't evolve. See that? Mm -hmm. That opens a beer. Where Where does yours open right. opens a beer? Opens a beer? Yeah. Oh, like... Where? I just turned and twist off the beer, but where? you can use this to pop tops on, on cans. Mm, no, I mean open a beer bottle. I don't know. Or open dog food. Open okay. a beer now, bottle. Now here's the thing. And a can. Do you think these are so... Open a can with like 70 steps. Do you think these are... <laughs> 70 steps. Go get a can of dog food and show me how many less steps it takes with your can. I'm taping. Yeah. And now the baby's crying. Yeah. It's your fault. Because my can opener is better and the baby realizes Way it. better. Beer. Can. Yeah. Oh, and and you can see the reflection of the awesome Syracuse iPhone case. Oh, stop. You've lost this argument, and the people on Twitter will tell you you've lost it. 